Hello Taurus, welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. If Taurus is your sun, moon, or rising sign, this is your reading. Please hit the like button, leave a comment, consider subscribing to the channel, especially if this reading resonates with you. And if there's anything you would like me to pray over, or meditate upon, or send positive energy toward, please let me know. All right. Now this is going to be a general reading. So try to be open and receptive to whatever may come through during our time together. I am merely the messenger, and I ask you to connect directly with each of these cards and use your own intuition to take you beyond the details that I might provide. And remember, Taurus, that the most important part of any tarot reading is you. And oh, a Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, very interesting. I wonder if that represents a particular water sign person in your life. Maybe there is some cancer energy going on. This is very interesting. A lot of earth energy, some water, some fire. More earth, more water, more fire. Oh, and some major arcana. Very nice. Um, yeah, I think this is this is going to be quite good. Now, we're going to do... Our mystery card, bonus card, confirmation card. We're just going to select one card randomly from the Smith Waite Tarot. And we are going to set it down right over here. We'll put the alien on top and we'll let them hang out right there. Now, we're not going to look at that card until the end. And hopefully that card will, you know, tie everything together, give us the confirmation that we need. So let's look at this energy now. We've got earth, earth, and earth. We've got water, 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 fire, fire, major, major. Um, the only thing that we don't have, interestingly, is the air energy. I think that's a good thing. I think the lack of air in these cards right now is really saying that we need to not try to reason and debate, not try to question, not try to figure everything out. Uh, we don't need the discussion. We just need the action, the feeling, right, and, and the reality. So I feel, especially with this, especially with the, uh, the Knight of Cups here, this is a really, really fast rush of this, um, this uh, powerful energy. It's a very, like, very intuitive vibe that I get, but it's a, it's a flash, it's a rush. Um, I think that there is um, there's a situation that you're in where it's it's almost like the the solution just comes that quick, right? Kind of out of out of nowhere, right? Or or from above, right? Maybe it's a it's a blessing that's coming on us. Let's look at this because we've got Earth and Earth, and we've got this Knight of Cups. This could be a Cancer person. It could be a Water sign person generally, but this is the fire of water. Right? The Knight of Cups elementally is fire and water. So I feel like in all of this earth energy that we're in, we're in some a real transformative time in our life. Things are changing. Things are uncertain. There's some anxiety. I think spirit is really coming in with this water and fire energy. And that's exactly what we see here coming in is this, this flow of divine energy that's leading to certainty, confidence, action, right? Creativity. This, I think this is really, this is, this is it. Um, this is exactly what you need in your life. And I think you're going to be really happy, especially looking at the rest of this energy. We've got, if we play our cards right, no pun intended, we do things in the correct way. We avoid too much haste, too much short-temperedness. This card is, is also water and fire. Let's not forget. It's the queen of wands, water, water and fire, right? If we can balance and harmonize the water and fire, we'll get out of this earth situation and we will get this wheel of fortune energy. This is the jackpot. This is, um, I think this is what we've been waiting for. I think this is kind of a, a once in a lifetime thing, you know, that this is, this is the moment and we have to heed the call. We have to listen and uh, if we want to get to this anyway, we have to be aware of, of what's coming in. And I think that there's this 
inertia. There's this earth energy that's just kind of keeping us slow and low and kind of muddy and muddled, right? This earth energy here, and I think a lot, a lot of it has to do with this death card, which we'll talk about, that we might feel like we're in a little bit of a, oh, just kind of a little bit of mud, you know, and I don't know if you've ever been in mud, but it's, it's kind of, uh, it's difficult to move, right? We kind of feel stuck. We have to be ready for this fire and water energy coming in. The fire and water, I think, are, it's a volatile combination, obviously, right? And usually it, it creates some air. That's the risk here. And look, we have fire and water, fire and water. This is all fire and water here. And we're just going to go ahead and jumble all that up because why not? This is all fire and water. And this is the solution, but it's also the risk because this could create a lot of, what does fire and water really create? Steam, bubbles, boiling, right? So all of this energy here, this is a lot to deal with. This is a big, big moment. This is, this is like, major influx of energy. Once in a lifetime, you get all of this energy coming in to wash away, to clear away, to fix, to, to empower all of this earth. This is all earth style energy, right? And I guess we have some water here with the death card. This is kind of a, um, this is a Scorpio style card here. Um, we run the risk of Really, all of this fire and water causing too much air, too much confusion, too much doubt. It's like when you get all of this energy in your life, all of this magic starts happening, all of these really great things, and we just kind of, we stop and we think, wait a minute, uh, something's fishy, let me figure this out. Something's not right, let me, let me think about, let me, let me analyze all of this first, and then we'll see what to do, right? It's like a kid that rushes home, you know, to tell their parents something really urgent, really exciting. Hey, 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 something happened. Aliens have landed or whatever. And the parents are just like, well, let me turn on the news, right? Let me finish doing what I'm doing. Let me, let me talk about it with your mom. And then we'll, then we'll see what's going on, right? It's just too much of this waste, right? It's just too much of this air. It doesn't, it's not really doing anything. Uh, there's no action. There's no sense of urgency there. There's no sense of passion or enthusiasm, which is what we what we want with the water and fire. The water and the fire energy. I think I got those in the right spot. It's all enthusiasm and passion and and a sense of urgency, right? This is a once in a lifetime moment for you. Let's not just kind of Let's not stay muddied. Let's not stay in the mud. And let's not, let's not, uh, you know, have to debate about it for several days or whatever. And, and the moment passes. We feel the influx of this spiritual energy right now. We feel that these blessings are coming in. And I really, with the Ten of Cups, I feel like it's, it's an overwhelming feeling. I think something is occurring in your life uh, right now that is... Is kind of overwhelming you with this. It's almost like tears of joy. It's almost like such a gratitude, such a thankfulness at whatever this, whatever comes in. And I'm kind of thinking it's a cancer energy because we have this cardinal water bringing the fire and water, right? Maybe this is, um, you know, some organization that we've put a call out to. And maybe that's part of the reason why there's an absence of air. We've already done the communicating. We've already made the phone calls. Nothing left to do. Just kind of waiting for someone to call us back. Maybe we've already put in for that promotion or that job. Now we're just kind of waiting to hear the news. Um, I feel like the news is coming. I feel like it's not just, it's not news. It's not, it's not the phone call really that matters, but it's the, the meaning of it. Right? It's that fire and water energy. It's the excitement, the enthusiasm, the, the joy, the gratitude, the love, the hope that it brings, the relief that it brings. Because we're getting out of this mud. Right? 
and it might be coming via this cancer sign person. Maybe not. Maybe not. Whoever it is, they're bringing the fire and the water. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a water sign or a cancer person. For some of you, it might be resonating that way. But there's something, there's some situation that we're in that is causing a lot of anxiety. The Five of Pentacles is up above everything. There is some uncertainty. There is this changing financial situation, maybe, that's looming over your head. It could be a health situation. It could be a housing situation. It could be the job, the car, right? Something in your physical environment. It's kind of, it's hanging over your head. It's like, it's a dark cloud, kind of, okay? Fire and water coming in. I'm getting rid of this. We're getting out of here, okay? So I, I feel like this is really, this is what we've been waiting for. I think you're going to be very happy. I'm, I'm really, I'm really kind of stunned by, by, by how on the nose all of this energy is, you know. We even see this, uh, you know, the the Queen of Pentacles, kind of looking toward the past. This is probably part of our energy. Um, this this almost gives me a a feeling of remorse, almost. I think this is. Um, I don't want to step on your toes or anything or, or offend you in any way, but I feel like this is you kind of sitting here, almost maybe feeling powerless, right? There's no, the, the, without the fire and water, we're sitting here, we're kind of in the mud and we're looking at the path, we're looking at that winding road and we're thinking, God, I made some dumb moves, right? I hope that doesn't offend you. We've all, we've all had that moment, you know? Countless times I've been sitting in a pretty tight spot thinking, God, why did I do those things? Why did I choose those, those choices? Why did I make those decisions? God, that was dumb. Okay, And maybe that's not resonating for you. But I feel like this is, however it's resonating, I think this is you kind of looking back at the winding road, looking back at how you got here. Maybe you're trying to figure out, God, how did I get in this spot right now? So we're trying to look and see what brought us here. How did I get here? Okay. And I think this is, I think this is what everybody would do. And again, I've, there's been countless times I've sat here and thought, how did I get here? You know, um, but spirits got your back, right? We look underneath and I know this is not going to be a very pleasant discussion when we look at this death card the the death card is to me right now it's it's something that you you're intuitively aware of you're kind of spiritually aware of this that in order for progress to happen in order for us to grow and move forward there has to be loss there has to be letting go other things have to give way for the new growth right so this is a, a way that you're trying to look at your challenges and your difficulties by saying, look, these challenges are necessary because it's, well, it's through difficulty that we can, that we grow, right? It's through pushing ourselves. It's through, uh, through letting things go that we can bring new things in. Okay. So I think we're trying to look at this a little bit more metaphysically. Right? Which is hard when we've got this situation looming over our heads where there's the bills are due, the rent needs to be paid, there's repairs that need to be done. Um, you know, if it's a, an injury or an illness or anything in the physical environment that's causing you stress right now, it's hard to see that, oh, it's all meant to be, it's all for a reason. Yeah, I mean, I know that intuitively or whatever, but it doesn't change the reality, right? It doesn't change the reality. Um but it is an underlying kind of unconscious awareness that we have that, yes, you know, things are going to be okay. Change, change needs to happen. Uh, we're, I'm growing. My life is evolving and things are going to, things will be okay. It sucks right now. We need a way out. Well, whatever this, whatever this Knight of Cups energy is, this is that, it's kind of the bailout that you need, right? This is the phone call. This is the promotion. This is the bonus. This is the uh, you know, the, the lottery, the jackpot, this is whatever it's going to take to remedy this actual situation. This is the good news, right? 
And this is the satisfaction. This is the, this is the water energy that it brings. It brings this flood of feelings, right? Gratitude, love, joy, relief. Um, but also kind of a sadness, kind of a, um, you know, I don't know, remorse or regret, a lot of mixed emotions, a very overwhelming emotion that, uh, you know, tears, tears might flow with this. It's going to be a relief, sure, because I feel like it's remedying that five of pentacles. But it, it also has this mix. It's joy, but it's also just like frustration and, you know, and the relief too, which I think is important to, to focus on. But it's bringing that fire and water, whatever this is, whatever's going on. Um, you've already done what you could do, and now it's just a matter of the universe responding to your efforts, right? Because I feel like there's, I feel there's not much more you could do, practically speaking, to fix this. You've you've done everything you could. Now you just kind of crossing your fingers, right? Well, I think this good fortune is coming. I think this is the the big break that we need. Okay. And I think that there is news coming from this person, organization, you know, something. Maybe it's the company, this boss or supervisor. Maybe you're getting the raise that you asked for, whatever it is. Okay, the good news is coming. And that leads us to the way forward. The way forward now is through this three of wands. This is kind of... Um, this is now us understanding, right? The threes are all about understanding. So I think we understand now what got us here, right? We understand all of the decisions that we made that, that got us to the, the situation right now. And we also understand how, you know, there will always be some uncertainty, some um, challenges, right? Some anxiety. There's also going to be always something is going to be kind of looming over our heads in life. And we have to accept that as a way to grow and a way to move forward. So there's understanding of the process, right? This is the death card. Life is a process of, of death and birth, right, ultimately. Um, so we understand that. We've got the three of wands. The threes are all about understanding. And this is the fire energy. This is the will. This is the confidence. This is almost now your your uh, eagerness to confront more challenges. Now you just think, I can, I can do it. I know how to do it. I know how to handle it. I understand it now. And now you're kind of, you can move with the flow of it, right? It's like when you learn a new skill or a new sport or anything like this. Uh, learning to ride a bike, I guess. At first, it's so challenging. You just can't, why can't I get it? I keep falling down. I don't understand once it happens, something clicks. And now you'll never be able to, to forget right, how to do it. You know now. It's, it's intuitive. It's instinctual. It's just kind of a flow. Right? It's like when you look at one of those op optical illusions. You know, Do you see a dog or do you see a pineapple? Well, once you see it one way, it's kind of hard to then go and see it the other way. You know, It's already kind of imprinted on you. And this is that imprint. This is our ability on a, on a soul level to, um, to be imprinted with, with this information, the spiritual energy. It's a real download. And I think it really is giving you a new perspective on these kinds of material challenges in your life. And I think this is the way forward. I think this is, this is a once in a lifetime thing, especially when we get to the path of the serpent. Now, the first card that we see is the card of frugality, right? Tightening our belt, being cautious, going slow, don't go crazy. Trying to build a, a stable thing here. Trying to, um, to grow a nice, bountiful, abundant garden. Yeah. Grow our resources, right? We're not trying to shift things around. We're not trying to lose it. We're not, we're, we're done with that. Now we're trying to accumulate. We're trying to grow our, maybe grow our savings, put some money away, right? This is kind of a, a caution, a prudence, a strategy, uh, maybe a financial plan, you know, a budget, something like that. Knowing just how much to spend on different things, how much to save and all this kind of stuff. It doesn't have to be financial, okay? It could be anything. 
this is our general energy. This is what this is what needs to be. Now we're going to be really, you know, really carried away, really, really relieved, really emotional, and really confident with this fire and water energy. But the first card that we confront after this, whoa, is more earth energy, right? So we have to remember, we don't want to get back to this kind of mud. So even though we have all this fire and water, we still have to remember the earth energy, right? We still have to have, this has to be our kind of baseline. This is our, our, our plan, our budget, right? Well, and then we can have some fun with the fire and the water. And we can really grow this into, I think this is an amazing jackpot. I think this is tremendous success, financial and otherwise, that's coming in your life. I think you're going to be very happy and very successful. A big contrast from over here. This looks a lot different than here. Now we're creating, we're creating this water energy for ourselves. Now, because we have this budget, this financial plan or whatever, this strategy, now we're able to find this joy, this pleasure, this water energy in our own activities. Now we are creating it. We are generating it. So, you know, you're, let's say you're, you're saving enough money now where you can, you can have the, the finer things. You can enjoy these, you know, a little vacation or just to kind of treat yourself to something here and there, you know, um, but it's not. It's not material. We're not talking literally about money. Maybe we are for some of you, but it's about this being able to experience the joy in life. It's not all mud and anxiety and worry. Now it's like, okay, we can, we can find those, those special moments, those beautiful feelings here and there. We can, because now we have this strategy, we feel like we, we've got a solid way forward in life. Now let's, let's enjoy the environment. Let's enjoy our family and friends and nature. Let's enjoy ourselves. Let's, let's treat ourselves a little bit. Let's smile. Let's laugh. Let's have fun. Let's feel good about our life and our experience. It's not all worry and work, you know. And now the next card we see is more fire and water. It's kind of an inside out knight of cups. We have the queen of wands. See, this is fire and water. This is water and fire. So it's kind of an inside out. So it's almost like now we're setting ourselves up in such a way that we don't have to cross our fingers and hope that the universe responds to the work that we did or hope that, you know, our boss gives us the promotion or, you know, whatever it is. Now it's kind of like we're, we're generating it ourselves. Now our work, right, the eight of pentacles, now our work is working for us. We're generating our own fire and water. You know, so it's kind of, it's more of a, of a self-reliance than um, just being in a position where we're at almost, and I don't like to say it like this, but to me it feels as if on the path of the dove, it's kind of, we're almost at the mercy of someone else or some other entity. But on the path of the serpent, now we're not. Now we control our destiny. Now it is us in the universe in alignment. And that's why we've got this major arcana. I think it's a lot because we've, we now we understand the process. And now we're not going to forget the process so we can use it to our advantage. And we're creating this abundance, this success, this really tremendous future. I think this is the turning point in your life. I think this is, uh, this is a once in a lifetime thing. This is it. This is the moment. Okay. We're learning how to generate all of this for ourselves. And yes, a little bit of luck, a little bit of good fortune, right? A little bit of trust in the universe, a little bit of kind of divine grace and blessing um, is part of it. But it's also this reliance on yourself and now you understand the process. Um, and again, it's not just like, oh, you understand the, the banking stuff for the tax code or, you know, anything. It's not literal like that. Now you understand that the energies that are involved and how you can tune into those energies and, and use this experience to your advantage, you know, your spiritual advantage. But I think there's this material component too. I think that we're done with the, 
the experience of this uncertainty looming over our head. Now, there's always going to be challenges and difficulties and anxieties in life, always. But now you, now you're you're more sure of the outcome, you know. Now it's just kind of a moment to moment. Yeah, there's there's stuff to deal with. There's anxiety. There's uncertainty. But in the overall big picture, it's almost like you've you've kind of seen the future now. You know what I mean? There's this um, there's this broader sense of faith in everything. I don't know how to explain it, but this this to me seems very powerful. And this is almost it, it's almost overcoming the the stress and worries of the physical environment because you know everything is perfect, everything is going to be perfect. Right? Anyway, let's look at the mystery card. I'm curious if this is going to be some more integrated fire and water energy. Something showing, thank you, Alien, for your assistance. Something showing that we have um, that we have fully kind of integrated. Like maybe we need something to kind of put these two together. You know, maybe the water and the fire, the fire and the water need to come together in one balance between us and the environment, us and the universe, right? It's not just relying on others. It's not just relying on ourselves. There has to be cooperation. Maybe we need a six of, well, a six of wands, I think, would be nice right here. Or maybe a six of cups, even six of, well, maybe it's going to be that six of swords. We don't have any air. Maybe that's what we need. No, it's a five of cups. Five of cups. Now, this is kind of interesting because we had the five of discs, right? So together, this really makes a lot of mud, right? So I, I wonder if we're still having uh, difficulty getting past the first step, the first stage here, you know? I feel like we're, we're kind of still stuck in the mud. And that's understandable if we're, we're in the mud and we're still waiting for this fire energy. We're still waiting for this good news. We still need the response from the communications that we've sent out, right? The resumes that we've sent off or the applications or whatever, whatever we're waiting for. Until we get that, we're still, we still feel stuck in the mud. So that makes sense. We're not quite here yet. Right? But this is the moment. This, this news, this good news is coming. That's going to get us out of this mud. Because you're going to realize that, yeah, things seem really bad right now in front of you. But you've got all of this support. You've got more than... You've, you have an abundance around you. Okay? And um, it, it's just going to take uh, kind of a getting over the hump thing, right? Once we get over this hump, it's going to be a lot different. But for now, I feel like we're still, we're having difficulty seeing the, the light kind of at the end of the tunnel. We're having maybe difficulty seeing this fortune or the perfection of everything. You know, we, we feel it kind of intuitively again with this death card, but it, that doesn't help us in a practical sense. So I can see that there's still some mud here. Um, but I, I feel like this is, I think the flow, I think it's all coming. I think this is it. All right. And now we are going to do an extended reading. If you would like to stick around, just click on the link that's up there. That will give you access to every extended reading, not just Taurus, but for all signs. All right. I want to thank you for being here and thank you for letting me read for you.